this is an exciting uh, study as far as I am concerned because um, so far what we know is um, MRD is determined by the quantitation of the NPM1 mutated transcripts and uh, especially it's an independent prognostic marker in patients with newly diagnosed NPM1 mutated AML. Uh, concurrently, MRD assessed by multi-parameter flow cytometry at the end of two cycles of induction is considered highly prognostic in patients with standard risk NPM1 wild type AML. So the value of multi-flow cytometry MRD is not well established in patients with newly diagnosed NPM1 mutated AML. Therefore, we start to identify to assess the prognostic value of uh, multi-parameter flow cytometry MRD in patients with newly diagnosed NPM1 mutated AML and treated with intensive chemotherapy. We identified about 244 patients with newly diagnosed NPM1 mutated AML treated with intensive or low intensive chemotherapy who achieved complete remission or complete remission with incomplete uh, hematological recovery. So achieving a, a multi-parameter flow cytometry MRD negativity at initial response did lead to improved outcomes in patients with newly diagnosed NPM1 mutated AML, regardless of the intensity of therapy. And achieving uh, MRD negativity by multi-parameter flow cytometry at initial response than the clearance of NPM1 mutation by next-generation sequencing did improve outcomes in patients with NPM1 mutated AML who are receiving intensive chemotherapy. In those who are receiving lower intensity chemotherapy, MRD negativity by multi-parameter flow cytometry and clearance of NPM1 mutation by NGS improved outcomes. So what we mean to say is with standard NGS panels, mutation clearance is not as predictive as multi-parameter flow cytometry MRD negativity in predicting outcome in patients with newly diagnosed NPM1 mutated AML. So NPM1 quantitation of NPM1 mutated transcripts is not widely available. So what happens in, in, the, in the practice is um, just the clearance of NPM1 mutation is considered to be a surrogate marker for MRD negativity. So what the study shows that it's not so because uh, still um, MRD negativity by multi-parameter flow cytometry trumps over just the mutation clearance. So it's it's very um, it, it uh, the the physicians should pay particular attention to the methodology used to determine MRD negativity in patients with AML, especially within uh, NPM1 mutated AML.